Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and today we're going to be playing a game called Black Rose. So, this is a game I found off Steam, it was completely free. It uh, looks to be our basic core game, so we're just going to, I uh, guess, dive right on onto this. Um, select game mode, timed mode or story mode. Um, in this mode, you are being timed on how quickly you finish the game. And in this mode, you follow the investigations of a mortician who worked at a funeral home many years ago. Okay, well, before an unknown disaster killed all the employees, unlike time mode, this focuses on the story, so it's much longer. Alright, well, that sounds like what we want, right? We always want to learn about the story of everything, right? Okay, so loading, loading, load, shit. Oh god, we got such narrow vision. Oh, it's like old-fashioned Slender games. Okay, we got some doors over here. Where does this all go? Okay, that's all locked. That goes upstairs. Let's check out- whoa. Getting already turned around. <laughs> Alright, so what else do we got? Oh god, this is so creepy. Visitation room. Can I crouch? No, I can't crouch. It's a fireplace, but it looks like it drops down into oblivion. I guess they were pretty serious about keeping this door shut. I wonder if the keys are around here somewhere. I guess I have to go find keys for those locks, huh? So we just investigate everything. Double doors. We cannot open. I'm guessing that's where we came in from. Oh, this place is going to be so easy to get turned around in. Restricted area. Pain and suffering has warped their bodies. Because of course it has. Oh, uh, all right. Are we going to have just like random jump scares? Oh, I, why did I play this? <laughs> I always. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Let's just continue forward. Chin up and all that stuff. Is someone else here? That was laughter. Okay, so that's where the doors came up from. Okay. Empty room. All right. This is completely empty. No dead bodies hiding in corners or anything creepy like that, right? Okay, just gotta keep going. Okay, the family room. The store is warped pretty bad. I don't think I'll be able to get it open. Will you, like, kick it in or something? I don't know. Chapel? All locked up. Okay. Um, yeah, door. Freaking wall, whatever. <laughs> uh... Anything down here? This is going to be so easy to get lost in. Oh, note. Um, boss says not to go near Myrtle's coffin. Why won't the gravedigger bury it anyway? It's not like what boss says is true. I mean, the dead can't really talk, can they? Oh, great. Oh, what the fuck was that? Was that just a wall glitching or was that a ghost? So that's the chapel down there. Can I jump? I cannot jump. Alright, so we just... Keep heading forward, I guess. Random bolts and board. Any notes on the ground? Should I be looking for more notes? It's jammed, but I might be able to force it open. I would need to ram it a couple of times. Hold space. Well, what about the warp door? Boom! Bang! 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 Okay, there we go. Something on the ground over there. What about that? Okay, that's locked. What is this, a cell phone? It's a baby monitor. Strange. Yes, because nothing is creepier than fucking baby monitors, right? So many locked doors. Are they going to open up as time goes on? I would assume as much. What about the keys and shit, right? What the fuck is that? What if I don't want to go downstairs? Uh, who was that? Uh, it was the baby monitor. I'm guessing it's Myrtle from the note. Which downstairs do I go to? The chapel downstairs? Is that where I'm going? Makes sense, because that's where we walked over, right? No? Okay, not the chapel. I would really like to get into the chapel. And I can't do anything about the warped door. The chapel seems like it would be a nice place to go, right? Oh! I did not notice a door there. Yo, maybe it would be best to not be there. Okay. I think, because that's the main room over there. I think this is all that there is, right? 
we had to export this. Uh, random creepy catacombs are not what I want to play in. All right, so two doors. Oh great, this is going to be a light. Her eyes, don't look into her eyes. Can fucking do. Uh, there's the other baby monitor. The other baby monitor is down here. This is weird. I'm not sure I want to be here anymore. Something feels wrong. What the hell is that? There's something sticking out of the coffin. Should I be concerned about that? Should we just get the hell out of here? I don't want to be in the catacombs anymore. I think I'm gonna go. You know what? We're, we're, we're... Yeah, that's not happening, sweetheart. What the fuck? What's going on? Door is locked. I know it wasn't earlier. Okay. What the fuck's going on? Shit, don't look into her eyes. Don't look into her eyes, dude. Okay, it's not there anymore, right? Shit, man. Why would it do that? That woman, where'd she go? So it's just a random jump scare. Okay, well that's not so bad. So we just notice her and run away? Okay, is this open yet? Okay, warp door won't even be clicked on. Chapel prop. Oh shit, the chapel's open. Uh oh. Uh oh, flashing lights. Where is she? I don't see her. Where the fuck is she? There's something written on the door. I'm getting out of here. Uh, I think it's chasing us. Ah! 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? She just came out of nowhere, man. Oh shit. Oh shit, the only way to go is here. You know what? I think I will stay down here with you, man. I think I will. You want us to stay here for all eternity? We can stay here for all eternity. That's cool. I don't mind. Oh shit, it's a dead end. We're so dead. We're so fucking dead. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think it's over. I think that's what the flashing lights are for. Was there something of interest in the chapel? Why else would she have attacked us? There has to be something in the chapel. Okay. Okay, that was so uncool. Nothing bad in here? Okay, we got some plants. I didn't get to look around. We got some more plants. Are there any notes? Any notes? Maybe on the podium. Okay, no. There's this. Can I do anything with that? I guess not. Well, that's useless, isn't it? Um. Oh, right, the writing on the wall. Let me go look at that. Um. They switched. They stitched him back together. Okay, how's that go with our earlier thing? Are we talking Frankenstein monsters here? Doors warped. Don't think I'll get open. What about the empty room? No, nothing. Um, does that open? Doors locked. I know it wasn't earlier. Okay, that was the one that leads back out to places. Um, I wonder if the door at the end of the hallway over here is open. Because it looks like doors are opening up at random or locking at random. Okay, nope, that one is locked up as well. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Whew! Be still my beaten heart. Okay, that's locked, so I have to go downstairs still, right? Go downstairs again. Where can I find a key? Because that's what we need, right? We need keys. Doors locked. I know it wasn't earlier. Well, what the shit, man? Great. Do we have to go back down into the catacombs? Oh, this is so not fun. Alright, give me a minute. I'm gonna look around for a key. Oh! Hey, the coffin's open. <gasps> key! Okay. Shine gold key in the coffin. 
Well, let's go on back upstairs then. Hopefully that's oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh wow. That got us back upstairs quicker than I expected. Woo! Oh my god, get to the chapel. Get to the chapel, right? Alright, get in here. Uh Ah! 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 Oh shit! Oh shit, everything's got changed around. Oh god, we need to keep running. We need to keep running. Uh, can I just circle? Ah! 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 She walked right into us! Oh my god! Ooh. You know what? We should probably leave. We should probably leave. Leaving seems like the best bet here, right? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Uh. Oh. Oh, okay! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's so not fun. Oh, that's so not fun. Please tell me the key goes to this. Oh, thank God. The only way to keep Myrtle in her coffin for good is to lock it. I thought I had locked it before, but someone else must have unlocked it. Either that or the lid was forced open. Shit. Okay. There's a key in here. It's labeled Myrtle. So, are we the one writing these notes or is somebody else writing these notes? So, okay. So, we just go lock the coffin? Is that what we're supposed to do? Oh, okay. We just gotta- just gotta go- shit, my mouse. <laughs> oh god, we just gotta go lock the coffin. Okay. Okay, that is doable. That is- that is doable. Uh, where's her coffin at again? Okay, that's a dead end. Ha, huh, get it? Dead end? It's- it's closed. There's the thing again. Is she in there? I should probably do what the notes said. I need to lock this thing. Click clack, locked up. Silver key fell from inside the coffin. It's labeled V Room One. Nope, 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 shit, shit, shit. She's gonna force it open again, isn't she? Oh, oh good. No, 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 no. Damn it, it's damned. Oh, oh, I can I can ram it, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh thank god. What just happened? Did I die? Please? I don't care. I'm going. Goodbye. Ah, ah. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What happened? Oh no, what happened? What happened? Okay, okay, how do I fuck I get out of here? There were there was another room, right? There was another room with locks on it. I just need to remember where it was. I just need to remember where it was. I don't remember where it was. Oh god. Does anybody remember where it was? Because I don't remember where it was. Okay. Um. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, and there goes my dogs. Okay, I think it was down here. Just need to calm down. And it was through here. Where the fireplace was, right? What about the other key? Oh good, there's a note. Ever since my first day working <sighs> here, I felt a little strange. Now, after what happened that day, things seem to be getting even stranger. You don't say. You can go so far as to say creepy. Uh-huh. <laughs> I've been an embalmer for years now, and I'm very passionate about my job. <sighs> I've always felt comfortable with what I do, so it's pretty unusual that I feel this way. Feel what Two way? Of my colleagues have died. I had to embalm them both. However, grief can't explain this feeling. Oh, the stitching up. up. Did he make a Frankenstein? No, I hadn't even known about the history of this funeral home. History. I already knew that it was ridiculously old, but what I didn't know was that it allegedly harbors some kind of powerful aura which traps and torments the spirits of people who have died in a state of grief or fear Aww. and have at some point been associated with the building in one way or another. So These all the people that you had to embalm, right? Include those occurring post-mortem, such as embalmings and funerals. Continue. Click. Okay, that's the visitation room, but where's the other key? Ah, 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 okay, okay, um, shit, 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 shit. She's coming to kill us, dude. Okay, pain and suffering has warped their bodies, and he stitched them back together. So he brought them back, is that what it's supposed to be saying? Is that he brought them back 
Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're following somebody. We're following... I'm guessing the mortician? Lead us away, buddy. Oh, good. He left us another note. Oh, you're not going to read it for us? Okay, Miss Reigns, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during funeral services. It's disruptive and upsetting to the grieving families. Today, he also stole one of the keys to the visitation room and was later attempting to open one of the drawers in the morgue. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If you do not start controlling him, I will take it upon myself to personally teach him a lesson, Michael. So what? You're going to beat the shit out of a kid? Just because he's not freaking bothered by death? Oh good, it opens. Please don't jump out at me. Please don't jump out at me. Another note. Let's read it. To make things even weirder, oh. this place has a serious lockdown system. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen it used, and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care What's of. What's the family room? No one I've spoken to about it knows why it was done, or at least they won't say. Is that the one with the All I number know code? These safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. You don't say. I was the first responder that day. I was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she okay. passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a part of <sighs> I love you on that baby monitor, but Aww. that was the last communication they ever had. The last thing she ever did was give me that piece of paper. It was a short poem she had written for Sullivan earlier that day. She asked me to give it to him, and I promised her I would. Then she slipped away. Damn. I guess Sullivan had picked up by Myrtle's weak rasping in the baby monitor that something was happening to her. Because soon after she had passed, he came running into the hall from the upstairs arrangement room. But he was too late. She was gone. So what happened? That's when he broke down. I'd never seen him show so much emotion towards Myrtle before. Then, of course, the rest happened. I'll keep my promise, even now. It's all I can do for my dear friends. And he stitched them back together, right? Oh my god. So I'm going to actually make this a uh, two-parter because it's running a bit longer than I expected it to. I thought it was supposed to be a short game, but apparently it is not. Because, you know, I figured with it being free and all, but I guess not. So, um, anywho, um, this is turning into an interesting little story. I thought we could just run for our lives, but apparently there's a bit more to it than that. We have to freaking do a whole lockdown system and everything. Oh, <sighs> Okay. I'm sorry, my heart is like so messed up right now. <laughs> so this is going to be it for this episode. Um, I guess we'll wrap everything up next time. So until then, you know, like and subscribe if you want to. And thank you for watching.